Did you know that your gluteal muscles work to stabilize you even when you're sitting? This is Waking Up Your Sleepy Glutes Part 1, Gluteal Anatomy. Our gluteal muscles stabilize our hip and pelvis and are also heavily involved in deep core stability. Comprised of four muscles, the gluteus minimus, medius, and maximus, and the TFL are tensor fascia lata. I can never, I can never say that one. TFL. Up first, the gluteus minimus, this is the smallest and deepest muscle. It connects from the upper part of our hip bone, the iliac crest, down to our femur. And we have two different types of muscle fibers. We have type 1, which are slow twitch muscles and are more used for endurance and stability. And then we have type 2, which are fast twitch muscles. We use those for power and strength. The glute minimus is a combination of both of them. It's about 50-50 with more type 1 toward the anterior part, the front, and more type 2 toward the posterior or the back. Next up is the gluteus medius, which sits on top of the gluteus minimus although it's still a pretty deep muscle. This one also connects from the upper part of the hip bone, the iliac crest, down to the femur. This one is also a mixture of type 1 and 2 fibers. It's just a little bit more type 1, around 58%. Moving on to the gluteus maximus, which is the one most people think of when they think of glute muscles. This is a superficial muscle, meaning it's just underneath our skin. It's also the largest and heaviest muscle in our body, or it should be, contrary to what our boulder shoulders may think. The gluteus maximus connects to a few different places. It connects to the upper surface of the iliac crest, also down by the sacrum, and then it also connects into the thoracolumbar fascia, as well as inserting into the IT band. And this one may surprise you, but the gluteus maximus is also made up of a combination of type 1 and type 2, but it's more heavily weighted toward type 1 in most cases, up to sometimes 68% type 1, whereas the others were more like 40 to 58%. Among other things, this is just an indicator of how heavily it's involved in stability. And last but not least is a muscle I can never say, the tensor fascia lata. I don't, it's something about about all of those together anyway. The TFL muscle, ta-da! This one's interesting because it's located in between layers of fascia within the IT band. You can kind of see it poking out at the top. One of the reasons it can be tough to get into this one for release. It originates from the front of the hip, the iliac crest, and then goes down and connects into the IT band by the knee. Unlike the other gluteal muscles, this one is almost exclusively type 1 fibers, which means it's very heavily involved in endurance and stability. If you're curious about how this connects to deep core stability and you want to dive a little bit deeper, I've already already done a series going through a lot of different deep core moves and how the gluteals become involved. You can check that out in the Unlock Your Body playlist. I hope this was helpful, but remember this is just the beginning. I will see you back here for part two, glutes on the move.